Today, we're going to start a brand new series on creating a particle system in Unreal and Unity. Let's go! This is an exciting day because we're starting a brand new series. The waterfall effects that you see here in this scene, the waterfall itself, the splashes, and the mist coming off, were all created by the shader that we're gonna build together in this series. So by the end of this set of videos, you're gonna have a shader that will allow you to create these effects and many more. Before I show you how to create this shader, it's important to understand why we're doing it. Usually when people are thinking of particle effects, they think of using the tools already built into the game engine. Unreal has Niagara, and Unity has VFX Graph. So why would you want to build a shader to control particle effects when your game engine already has a perfectly good particle system already? Well, here are the reasons. First of all, both Unreal's Niagara and Unity's VFX Graph require hardware support for compute shading. If you're creating a game for a low-end platform, such as an Android phone, that doesn't support compute, you can't use these tools. Second, this shader is extremely performance efficient. It runs entirely on the GPU, so it doesn't use any CPU resources. And on the GPU, it does math almost entirely in the vertex shader. So for ambient environment effects like that waterfall, it's about as cheap as you can get. And finally, this shader is very customizable. Because you're the one creating it, you can strip out parts that you don't need for your specific effects to make it even cheaper, or you can add to it to make it do more complex and customized behaviors beyond what I'm gonna show. So, to sum it up, what I'm gonna show you is a great way to add very low cost ambient visual effects to your project and have complete control of their behavior. Now this technique isn't intended to be a replacement for Niagara or VFX Graph, but if you have some ambient environment effects to create and you want them to render fast and cheap, and especially if you're creating effects for a mobile device, this might be a good solution for you. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Unreal. And I've got a couple of examples of particle effects that I've created with the particle shader that we're gonna be creating in this series. Now, since this is just the intro video, I'm just gonna show you the first step today, and then in the coming weeks, we're gonna build this particle system together. So here we can see a, a waterfall example. Here is some chimney smoke. Here's a fountain, and here's a particle effect that's just creating kind of drifting mist. Now let's take a closer look at how these are created. Uh, I'll just zoom in here on the chimney smoke here, and you can see I've got these particle effects kind of drifting off, and I've got this mesh selected over here. Let me edit our uh, UI scale so it's easier for you guys to see. I'll just switch it to a, a scale value of two. Okay, so if we look over here in our outliner, you can see that the mesh that I have selected is called Particle Stack 25, and this is the smoke variation. So what exactly is Particle Stack 25? Well, let's take a look at this mesh without the material assigned to it. You can see that I've got a material instance here that's called smoke. And if I remove the material instance, now you can see that my mesh is just a stack of flat planes or cards. So let's take a, a closer look at this mesh. So this is what my mesh looks like. You can see that it's just a stack of 25 cards and it's about one meter uh, cubed. Uh, so each of these planes is one meter by one meter. Now generally in particle systems, the cards are automatically generated by the particle system depending on how many particles are needed for that particular effect. But in our case, what I'm doing here is pre-building the cards that we're gonna use for the particle effects. 
And we do that for a couple of reasons, mainly to save on performance. Because I'm generating these cards offline, they don't have to be automatically generated on the fly, and so that makes the effect cheaper for us. So I created this mesh in, uh, I did it in 3ds Max, but you can also do it in Maya or Blender. And it's a little bit of a pain uh, to, to make this stack or to make this mesh. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this down in the description. I have a version of this uh, mesh exported as an FBX with one that has 25 cards, one that has 50, and one that has 100. And so I'm just gonna link these down in the description and you can grab mine instead of needing to, to create your own. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a annoying little task to, to make these meshes, especially the one with 100 planes. All right, here we are in Unreal's Material Editor, and I wanted to show you another view of the meshes that we're gonna be using for our particle system. Here you can see that I have a very simple shader with the vertex color node plugged into the base color, and I have my lighting mode set to unlit. And what you can see uh, when I switch to this mode is that each of these planes has a slightly different grayscale shade. And that's important. So what I've done when I created these planes uh, in 3ds Max, I actually assigned each plane a different grayscale value in the vertex colors. And when we create our particle system, we're gonna be using this vertex color data here as a unique ID for each of the particle planes. And that's gonna allow us to, instead of treating this as one mesh, it's gonna allow us to treat each plane as its own separate independent uh, particle so that we can move them around independent of each other. All right, let's switch over to Unity and I'll show you how I've got this set up there as well. All right, here we are in Unity and you can see that I've got the same four particle examples. Over here, I have the nice waterfall example and here I've got the chimney smoke example and here's our fountain. And then last of all, I have the nice kind of floating mist example. And so just like we have, just like we saw in Unreal, I've got the same exact functionality happening here in Unity as well. So as we work through building this particle system together, I'm gonna to show you how to do it in both Unreal and in Unity. All right, just like we did in Unreal, let's take a look at the mesh that we're using. All right, so if I select my smoke mesh here, and I can see the, the material that I've applied is called Smoke Buildup. I'm just gonna select this here, scroll up and pick None. And you can see that just like we had in Unreal, our mesh here is just a stack of cards. In fact, yeah, and this shows it off just a little bit better. I'm gonna move it up so that we can see it. And then I'll kind of swing around. This is a little bit tricky to show because these cards are only one-sided. So if I come around this side, they just disappear. Um, but you can see, I've got this material assigned to it um, that's called Vertex Colors. And so it's just showing uh, the vertex colors of the mesh. And you can see that each of these individual planes has a different shade, a different grayscale shade uh, from white to black. And these are the vertex color values that we're gonna be using as unique IDs to be able to split these particles up and treat them each as its own individual unique plane instead of as one whole static mesh. So like I said, we're gonna be doing this both in Unreal and in Unity. And Unity, this works in both HDRP and URP, so both render pipelines. So you don't need to worry if you're, if you're using a high-end uh, HDRP or um, the very versatile URP render pipeline, um, this shader will work in both. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Next week, we're gonna take a look at how to create uh, or how to make all of those cards in that mesh uh, face the camera. So we're gonna be looking at some billboard effects. Before I leave though, I wanna tell you a story about what inspired me uh, to create this particle shader and give some credit where credit is due. In 2019, I attended GDC and one of the speakers at the TechArt Summit gave a talk. This is Ryan Brooks from Epic Games. 
he gave a really cool shader talk. And one of the things that he mentioned was that you could create a particle system using just a shader. And that idea blew my mind. I was really excited about that. So last year, when I had a project at work that I needed to create my own particle system for, I knew that it was possible. And I went back and I watched Ryan Brux's talk again, and I was able to piece together what he had said in his talk to create this shader that I'm showing you today. So big shout out to Ryan and thanks for uh, his efforts in helping me learn this technique. All right, I hope you look forward to next week when I gonna show you how to take those meshes of cards and turn all the cards to face the camera. Have a great week and we'll see you then.